What's up guys, in this video we're going to be integrating Ranger into NeoVim. Uh, this has become quickly my preferred way to move around my file system and definitely move around my file system when I'm in Vim without having to leave Vim. So I'll just give a quick demo on like what Ranger is. Ranger will let you move through all of your files like so. Um, you can kind of like, I don't know, go to pictures, right? And I'm going to make sure that we have um, image preview in there so you'll be able to preview your images in Vim, which um, I've never found really a good way to do before now. So, and there's all Vim key bindings in here too, so I'm pressing like um, J and K to like move up and down. So, that's Ranger. So let's get started. Um, as always, every single command that I run in this video will be over on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, if you haven't yet installed Ranger, you can do so in the following ways here at the top. Uh, for the cool icons, you're going to want to install Ranger dev icons. And so you just run this command, which just clones this guy's repo repository, um, Alexander something, uh, Ranger dev icons. And it'll clone it into home, config, Ranger, plugins, Ranger dev icons, right? So after that, you'll be able to add this line to your rc.conf. rc.conf, I'll go over it in a second. It's your Ranger configuration. But you'll be able to add this line, this default line mode dev icons, so that you'll have cool icons in there too. Um, this only works on Linux for the image support. So if you want image support, it's going to be fine. It's going to work on Mac. And I think even just regular image support works on Mac and iTerm2 and stuff like that. But the thing is, I don't think it'll work in NeoVim because in NeoVim, uh, there's, it does some weird terminal magic inside there. So it's not using like your same emulator, something like that. So I don't think that you'll be able to preview images in Mac inside NeoVim. You'll still be able to do it with um, Vanilla Ranger, so you still get that benefit. And that's what UberZug is. UberZug is a way to um, pr like provide image support for Ranger. Um, anyway, so for Ubuntu, you can pip install it. And uh, for Arch, I recommend installing the latest version of Git, right? And I even left a note for the people in Ubuntu that you should probably be installing this thing from source because when I last tested it, not installed from source, it um, moved the, it, you, it still displayed the image, but it kind of moved it pretty off center, which was not good. Um, so yeah. And hopefully the guy from Uberzug gets that up and merged into his latest release in PIP. So, Ranger config file, let's create one. Well, I already have one created, but what you'll do is you'll mkdir.config ranger. So make a ranger config, right? And then here, I'll even go to mine. Ranger. Uh, do I have my big text going? Yeah, I do, okay, good. Anyway, so go inside ranger. And what you should see is after installing the plugins, we should be able to go into plugins. Okay, there's my Ranger dev icons. And then you'll have this rc.conf. And if you're interested in mine, mine's basically just the copy and pasted version of the one that they give you. I got it off of someone, I can't remember. And um, mine's like long, but you don't need everything that's in mine. If you do want mine, and I'm just catting it out right now. If you do want mine, then you can head over to my... Um, my git repo, I think in my dot files it might be up there. So you'll create this file, this rc.conf, which is what I just uh, catted out here. And what you'll do is you'll at least put these things in. So set preview images equals uberzug, um, default line mode, dev icons, we went over that a second ago. And I like to see my hidden files. If you don't like to see your hidden files, don't set that. So add that to uh, rc.conf. The next thing we'll do is add the Ranger plugin. So now we can go back to NeoVim. And if you've been following along with this tutorial series here, um, then you know that we add everything, all of our plugins to this VimPlug directory. We go inside VimPlug and we open up plugins. And so I have an entry spot for Ranger here. And this is Ranger, but uh, the guy's calling it RNVI, like R and Vimmer or something like that. So yeah, he could have maybe done a little better job with the name, but other than that, it's a great plugin. Like there's other Ranger plugins, um, 
but none of them are as good as this one, in my opinion, once you get it running. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is create a config file for it. So let's go back out here and let's open. We put all of our config in this plug config directory. And so rmvimr. And now what we'll do is um, just add a little bit of configuration, just like simple stuff, because I think it works pretty well out of the box. I don't really need anything special with this. Um, I just kind of want it to take over for um, NetRW, and I haven't tested that this works yet, so hopefully this works. And then also, um, I want to be able to toggle it by pressing space R, so yeah. And then what we'll do is we will source this in our init.vim. All right. Now you may need to run this rnvimr sync command at the bottom of like in Vim. Um, I didn't have to run that and everything seemed to work fine for me. So let's see if it works. Now what we'll do, well, a good first test would be like this. All right, awesome, see? So I opened the current directory and it opened right up. So that's already pretty cool. So now we can open files, and I'm just pressing L to open files. I think you can press Enter too to open a file. And it'll just open directories with L and files. So we can like open this one, it'll open it in another tab. If you wanna get rid of it, you can press Q. If you wanna start it back up again, space R, because we just put that in there. So it's really, 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 really fast and snappy to like wake up. Anyway, um, something else that we'll get if we installed Uberzug, and it actually worked for you, then what you can do is go to, um, I don't know, let's go somewhere where there's images. Go to pics, go to wallpapers, and then inside NeoVim itself, you'll get these nice image previews, which um, I don't see many people being able to do in NeoVim, and I really like this. So, yeah. It's kind of a demo of just for how it works. Um, it's definitely my preferred way to get around my file system for sure. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to go over is if this one doesn't work for you, uh, maybe on Mac it doesn't work one time. I feel like it didn't work for me on my MacBook that I use at work. Um, there is an alternative Ranger plugin. Um, and I'll just go over this one first before I go to that, guys. The alternative is right here. It's like the old one that I think has been around for a while ago. I guess it's still updated and stuff and has more stars than this one. but. Um, it works the same way, and I know that I have this one working on my MacBook at home. Um, but this is the repo that I'm using in the video. It has the cool floating window support. It has all the other cool stuff, the RPC communication, whatever he's doing with that. It definitely feels really snappy, and it looks really good. So definitely give this guy a star, because um, I feel like this thing doesn't get enough recognition. And then, as always, you can follow the development that I'm doing on NVIM over on my Git repo here. Um, I'm probably gonna continue to push up a lot of stuff. I'd say over the next few days, I'm probably gonna finish up. I'd say in a week, it'll probably be mostly stable and finished up. If you want my old config, it's on the stable branch. And uh, as always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.